Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the Light Finance Global YouTube channel. It's my pleasure to be with you again. Today we are going to discuss what is Master Candle and how eventually we can take the advantage of that candle if we are going to see that one on the chart. So without the further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, before we start, as usual, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave the comments uh, within the comment section what do you think and what is your approach when it comes to the master candle. Alright, when it comes to uh, the rising trend, we have to see uh, the significant candle which engulf the previous candle, opposite candle or few candles in a one move all right so that's what we have uh, what we have here exactly that's the point number one very uh, very important thing now the next what is important we have to have at least four candles within the range of the high and the low of the our master candle okay so we have one two three and four okay now, if that's happened for or more, or more, let's make it clear, all right? More, four or more, but at least four. If we recognize that, then we are looking for an upside break to take the advantage of the possible continuation of that reserve uh, reversal of that master candle all right now usually uh, when especially uh, when we are talking about the FX market well the life it might be a little bit different we might not get exactly to the peak uh, move within the range sometimes you might see one two pips uh, upper shadows but as long as we are closing within the range for me is acceptable the same going to apply below but that's uh, that's uh, what i'm going to uh, to tell you a little bit uh, uh, later now once we have a break all right what usually traders do because um, that's mostly used by the short-term traders they are using one unit risk one unit profit all right if you know me that's not something i prefer i would go at least one to two but for me more comfortable is one to three why because only three uh, positive trades out of the ten and i'm still in the money but it could depend what kind of the trader you are what kind of the approach you are taking you may want to make one to one cut half move stop let it run for the rest whatever is suitable for yourself that's what you have to uh, check now the stop um, the original stop should be a few pips below the low of the master candle all right but if the this candle is very significant in size then you may try to place the stop few pips below the low lowest low of those candles within the range right that is up to you it's of course much more risky in that case and then you are trading to the right direction now the risk warning here is that it's not a holy grail it's not going to work 100 percent of the time now the hint here uh, because sometimes and we were discussing this so it's uh, it's just the hint uh, and if you are interested then you are going to go through the channel you are going to find uh, that one but sometimes before the upside break so we are within the range sometimes we might see the retest of the low and we might see some kind of the uh, of the lower shadow 
but the close is still above, right within the master candle. For me, once we are going above the candle with the latest lower shadow below, uh, for me, it's a, it's a go. First target is top of that range and the second target let it run. But that, that just the hint, just the addition uh, into, that, uh, into that video. So that's uh, for you to, to get something in addition, something to have a possibility to test. All right, so that's the things looks like when it comes to, uh, to the bullish reversal. Let's have a look what we have uh, when it comes to the uh, opposite direction. So meaning that we were moving higher and suddenly we are reversing, all right? That's what we have here. Significant engulf, and then we have like, uh, oh, sorry. We have like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and more. But then what has happened once we broke, it was the significant move to the downside, we never been above either the high of the total range of the master candle or higher than uh, the high of this uh, one of the candles being inside uh, of this master candle. So that's also a very important thing. Uh, so of course the stop either above or uh, the master candle high or uh, above the high of this uh, one of the candles being inside target I would trade here again uh, at least one to two risk reward ratio if not one to three uh, taking into the consideration what has happened one two uh, one two here it wouldn't happen but then holding this position uh, because we didn't take the high of the master candle high uh, that would pay off or I would be stopped out at entry so I wouldn't be I wouldn't be at loss now a uh, very important thing here is uh, to, to, to consider uh, I would avoid if that's the rising trend and we have the master candle around the highs especially if we see the resistance or supply from higher time frame that would be no go for me okay I wouldn't take that trade the same if we have moved to the downside attempt to go higher and we have master candle to the downside again around support or some kind of the demand maybe from the higher time frame that would be no go for me as well so I wouldn't trade that so that's another hint here for you so guys again uh, please do your own research, do your own homework as usual, no holy grails here, only hard work, okay? Wish you great next trading session, see you around, take care and goodbye.